Kill me. Dead. I think you're trying to kill me. Me? I'm trying to kill you? Yeah. Why would I do that? I don't know, but you know, you leave the night, my nightstand drawer open when you get me my meds. So like if I step out of bed, I'm going to step into my nightstand drawer and I'm going to kill myself or at least break an ankle or something. Have you been putting your bed rail up? No, I haven't because I haven't been sleeping close to the edge and I haven't been sleeping in that direction. So Kevin got me my carnitas burrito from Alberto's. And he got... Taquitos. Which, what'd you get? Ta taquitos. Taquitos. The yummy? Mm hmm Bootsy, you don't have to clean your paws, you know, if you don't keep putting them in the in the plate. Oh, now you're done. <laughs> now she's going to walk on you. Then I'll clean them off. They're so weird. All of our animals are weird. Every last one of them. They're neurotic. Here. Okay, so when I came up this morning, uh, the the bottom cage was open, <laughs> and one of them was up in the upper cage, which was closed. And I think he's small enough to get through the, the bars. I think uh, he's got no mu water up there. Let's go! Go in. <laughs> No. Get in, get in, get in. <laughs> Where's their food bowl? Okay. Well, they hide their food. I usually just throw it on top of the... Let's fill his water bottle. Oh, uh, really? Really, you little butthead? <laughs> yes, he does mistake you for something. You want to go do these and yes. I'll feed him? Sure. Hello, Mr. Sebastian. I can't leave your cage open because you'll just crawl right out. Yes, you will. Some yummy food for you. You wanna come out? Don't bite me. Ooh. Get me for Sebastian. Hello, Sebastian. Mm. <laughs> he doesn't bite once you get him out of the cage. It's when you're putting your hands in the cage yeah, is when you have to worry. Your fingers of food. Yeah. Hey everybody! I think we got new internet. Yeah, it was a pain. Yeah, but it's also making us do a really good cleaning on our bedroom right now. Actually, that's that's all you. <laughs> okay, so it's making me want to do a really good cleaning on our bedroom right now. Actually, it's just you getting me to make a good cleaning. Get it right. Regardless, we're cleaning the bedroom really good right now. Meanwhile, I am getting rid of a lot of junk that Kevin leaves lying around all over the place and trying to clean up the computer desk. It's important stuff. It's not stuff you use every day, is it? <laughs> is it? But I never know where you put it. You hide it. That top drawer in there is all the stuff that you leave sitting all over here that those two things I just put away have been sitting on this desk for how long? I don't know. And I don't think you've ever used them. I do use them. When? Occasionally. When's the last time you used them? <laughs> uh, I used the one thing at the Halloween party. Okay, that's October. We're now in January. And I used the uh, card reader when I was doing stuff on eBay. Okay. Uh-huh. That one was recent. 
But you know where it is. And you know where it belongs. So when you take it out and use it, you know where to put it. If you leave it on here, you know it eventually gets knocked over. <laughs> and then you ask me, where's the card reader? And I'm like, I don't know, I didn't use it last. Did you stick it in the drawer somewhere? No, because it's been on here and knocked over because you leave a mess. Yes, dear. Clean it up. Okay, so Kevin ran to the grocery store and I reorganized the computer center. So we got the new modem, we got our little antenna, two of our cameras that we use, we got the mic that Kevin uses for voiceover stuff right there. We got the wireless keyboard, we got the regular keyboard, we got our chargers down below to charge our cameras. That little chest is holding all our extra batteries. We got a little cup over here with pens and backup batteries and the remote for the cameras and yada yada yada. And I cleaned off my little polar bear section with my candles and so this is all organized now. Let's see how long Kevin can keep it this way. So, bedroom's kind of clean. Just got that shelf unit over there to dust tomorrow. But we Get did. Daryl do it, man. He just hangs around, and does nothing. Daryl doesn't need to do anything except stand there and look good. He does that perfectly. Do you agree, girls, or what? He just has this puzzled look on his face like, what's going on? He has that look on his face because he's saying to you, why are you in bed with my woman? He looks like he's looking at you, though. He's looking at me when <laughs> I lay there like, mmm, baby. That's why the puzzled look. <laughs> <laughs> and I put my Daryl doll up there. Yes, Melody, I put him in the box up on the shelf so I don't open and play with him. I don't get that. Hey, Sheldon doesn't open and play with his toys. Yes, he does. He did once, and then he, he tried to put it off that Leonard he, Nimoy told him to play with it. And, and then he broke it, and then he tried to play, put it off that it was Leonard. Who opened the box and played with his. But Sheldon does not. <laughs> anyway, my original thing I turned the camera on was why because... Did you, why did you turn the camera on? <laughs> she likes to show me just lying here in bed. Because I'm sitting at the computer here working you and are. the computer is moving really, really fast. I'm loving the new internet so far. So I turned the camera on originally because Rocky and Rich want to know when we're going to get together and hang out. <laughs> okay. I don't know. They can do, they, they're available on weekends. Well, we have something happening this weekend. Definitely. Aren't we going somewhere this weekend? You said if I leave you alone tomorrow. Yes, are you going to leave me alone tomorrow? You planning on not leaving me alone tomorrow? I plan on leaving you alone tomorrow. So that I can actually get something done without having you interrupting me every 10 seconds. We're going to Big Bear so I can get some tattoo work done. If she leaves me alone tomorrow. He's taking me. He's taking me no matter what. Nuh uh. Yes, he is. You better leave me alone tomorrow. You're not going anywhere. I'll take the keys to the truck and go myself. Yeah, I can see that happen. <laughs> so maybe the following weekend. Probably. Okay. I will let Rocky and Rich know. All right. Oh. Us, Disney. We're advertising for you. I'm just using a book from you. All right. Anyway, it's
it's time for Bones to join us again! Yeah, we I cleared the bar because of um, continuous catawalling. From me? Oh dear. The room is still a mess, but the bar is now clean so we can actually sit at it to do shout outs again. Which leads me to, we don't have very many shout outs tonight, but Kayleen, Synergy, Yeah. Synergy, I got it, Kayleen, I got it. Happy birthday to your auntie and may she rest in peace. Junebug1028, she came over from Rocky and Rich. We love Rocky and Rich and we love you and welcome to the neighborhood. Bailey Acosta. <laughs> Welcome to the neighborhood. Shout out to you. And everybody needs to go by and check out his channel. Because his father was here today and hooked us up with awesome internet. Yay, for a change we finally got some decent internet. We, we don't know how long it's going to take to upload our normal vlogs, but we went from 0.6 upload speed to a 10.82 when he tested it before he left. So, hopefully, that means we could get three up vlogs uploaded tonight before midnight. <laughs> that would be awesome. And couple of people commented on my little tip about the moisture in the lid and cooking the eggs that way. Kevin says that he thinks that's just sunny side up eggs. Could I, be. I don't know. I've never had, I've never asked for eggs sunny side up, so I don't know how they're done. I just know you cook them from one side. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, know. if you cover them or not. I don't know, but if anybody knows that, let me know. But a couple of people didn't know about that, so I'm glad that helped you guys, and they turned out really good. People out there with the restless legs that can relate to me, I'm so sorry you are dealing with it too. It is the worst to have to deal with at night. It is so annoying. Kevin said when I would fall asleep and my restless legs would go, I would run in my sleep. Run in her sleep. Yeah. And, oh, I've tried so many things that the doctors have told me to do, and at this point, nothing works for me anymore. So I'm just up and miserable. But thank you, everybody, who understands about it. And if you don't have it, I pray you never get it. Anyway, we want to make sure that everybody's still sending out prayers to It's Ken Batista's mom, Janet Johnson and, and her family, uh, Melody from Mom's Vlogs 80, and Elijah, who's going through neuroblastoma. He's going through chemo right now. First, we do keep you or send you thoughts and prayers and well wishes. And uh, we have a big community, and I know all of you do send out prayers and thoughts to people that need them. So we are very grateful for all of that. It is time for Neighborhood Community Credit Roll. Okay. Can you hold that? That's rude. You asked me to hold it. You didn't ask me where to hold it. That's rude! You are all part of our neighborhood community. Each and every one of you. We would not be here if it weren't for you all. We love you all so very much. <laughs> We wouldn't be here if it weren't for all of you out there watching us, sitting right here, doing what we do. Whatever the heck this is. I don't know. Thumbs up. Make sure to go by and check out the Neighborhood Zoo and Paranormal Investigations with the neighbors. There will be something new. Bye. Bye.
it's not the same. 